my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about the Endgame Readathon I've joined. So the Readathon is from March 24th to April 24th, leading up to the Endgame movie, clearly. And it is hosted by Ashley Reads Too Much and The Devourer of Words. I believe it's only on Instagram because I haven't found any videos on BookTube, but yeah, I decided to bring it to BookTube. I am also doing it on Instagram, but yeah, I am super excited. Um, there are 29 prompts all to do with heroes from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and you can combine prompts to have all of them in one book or do 29 books or whatever you choose, really, and it's I'm super excited. Originally, I was going to do just the six Avengers and not push myself, but I just, I'm someone who likes a challenge, so in one way or another, I have tried to cover every prompt that is possible, and I'll list all the prompts down below. So I was able to combine all of the prompts in one way or another into 13 separate books. Um, I will be putting less priority on this readathon, so I won't be as upset if I don't finish these as I will. I will be also doing the Owl's Magical Readathon next month because... I hate myself apparently and I really love reading so yeah we're gonna go for both of those as well as a few TBR that I do have to complete next month which I will talk about in a April TBR video but I am really pushing my limits next month um, that's why I'm putting a little less emphasis on this readathon but I am hoping to complete it so here's hoping we can get all of these books done <laughs> luckily for me the Readathon is from March 24th to April 24th, so I have about a week's time to get as many of these 13 down as possible before April starts and I have to do the Owl's Magical Readathon and then my regular April TBR. <laughs> so that gives me a little bit of a buffer, thankfully. Um, but here we are with the 13 books I'm going to be reading. So I decided to combine Captain America, which is a timeless classic, as well as Vision, which is a third-person omniscient book. And I will be reading Anne of Green Gables for these prompts. This is a book that I do not know much about. I know it is a children's classic and I did some Googling is it, and it is in third person omniscient point of view. So that covers those two topics. And because of the amount of books that I am physically reading, I decided to add two audiobooks to this. So for Scarlet Witch, which covers a book with magic and Groot, which covers a book that features a tree, I decided to listen to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. There is the scene with the Whomping Willow included in this. Um, and if that doesn't qualify, then I'll just use the Anne of Green Gables because there's like a tree featured on this, right? That's a tree. We're going to pretend that's a tree even if it's not. But yeah, this is the book I will be using for Scarlet Witch and Groot. I'm doing Iron Man, which is a character with issues, but I think that's any book you read, so honestly, I could use, could have used any of the books from this TBR to fall under that category, but it is also The Winter Soldier, which is a book set in the winter setting, so for that, I will be reading, well, listening to the audiobook of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and I chose this just because all the characters in this have issues, honestly, and um, the there and there is a winter setting or scene or a few of those scenes in this book, so I figured it qualified, right? Right? So those are my two audiobooks I will be reading. And then for Hulk, I got a little creative. I chose a big book for Hulk and then a short read for Ant-Man. So it's a big book but a short read. And for this, I chose Falling for Marilyn. And as you can see, this book is huge. It's just not very thick. So, uh, yeah. So that will be my choice for Hulk and Ant-Man. For Hawkeye, which is a contemporary novel, I decided to combine it with Mantis, which is all the feels prompt. And for that, I chose, I feel something that would be very obvious, which is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. So this will be my contemporary slash all the feels prompt which it covers Hawkeye and Mantis. 
Then I decided to combine Black Widow and Nick Fury. Black Widow is something with a red cover and Nick Fury is the first book in a series. So I chose Vicious by V.E. Schwab. As you can see, this has a red cover and it is the first book in the villain series. And I've been dying to read this, so <laughs> it works out perfectly. So next I combined Thor, which is a book with mythology featured, and Maria Hill, which is a book you've been putting off. And I've been putting off this entire series, kind of, um, until I gained a few more of the books. And I think I have the first four or five books now. So I am going to be starting the Percy Jackson series with the Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, I think. Anyways, this is book one. Um, I have been putting off this entire series, so we're gonna start it off, and hopefully I like this series. We'll see. For A Gathering of Shadows, I decided to combine three prompts, including Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Gamora. Doctor Strange is a book that f features multiple dimensions or worlds, which we can see with Red London, Grey London, White London, and Black London. It features a kingdom for Black Panther, and there is the Red Kingdom. Well, the Red World includes a kingdom. Well, they all include kingdoms, I think. Or queendoms, but yeah. They all have kingdoms in their perspective worlds. And then Gamora is a book that features a strong female lead, and Delilah Bard, I believe, is the lead of this book. I'm just guessing from the cover and the ending of A Darker Shade of Magic that she will be the featured lead in this book, if not Cal, but she is one of the leads, so that will be the book for those three prompts. Next is Spider-Man and Nebula. Some of these pairings are really funny, but Spider-Man is a YA read, and Nebula is a book that features a sister or sisterly bond, and for this I chose Heartless. Um, this is the next book in the Pretty Little Liars series. I just picked it up from the library, so it won't be featured in my end wrap up in physical form. I'll throw up a picture for it. But moving on, it is a young adult read. And if that <laughs> kind of, this is a little bit of a stretch, but Emily's sister is probably mentioned in here somewhere. So we'll call that a sisterly bond. Yeah. I was gonna read The Hunger Games because and combine the Gamora and Nebula prompts. But I decided I had a lot of rereads in this TBR already and I did want to read some new books. So that is why that's a little bit of a stretch, but yeah. Next is The Power of a Positive Woman by Carol Ladd. I don't really know that much about this book, but I chose it for the prompt of The Wasp, which is small book but big impact. And I feel like any kind of book that is like self-help or advice or um like real world stuff has a powerful impact in my life um also I just wanted a little bit different of a read and one that I needed to read and decide if I wanted or not so that's why I, this is the book chosen for that um but yeah that will be the wasp prompt then for Shuri and Star-Lord, Shuri is a book with advanced technology and Star-Lord is a book with a space adventure. I haven't decided on Shuri, but for Star-Lord, I chose Mirage by Samaya Dodd. Um, I do need to pick that up at the library because I do not have it physically, but that will be my choice for a space adventure, I believe. And I'm hoping there's some advanced technology in that or else I'm going to have to find another book for that. If you have another recommendation for either of those prompts though please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to know if there's a book that combines those two prompts or if Mirage does if you've read it let me know or if you just think that you have a book that I would like otherwise let me know <laughs> so next up I have a book that I feel fits six of the prompts um possibly seven but we'll get to that in a second so the next book is Crooked Kingdom, and this has been on my TBR list for quite some time, but I just got the book physically. I'm dying to read this, so this will definitely be read one way or another, whether it's for the in-game readathon or just for April TBR, this book will be read. Trust me. Um, so the prompts that are featured in this are Captain Marvel, which is new to TBR, 
And this isn't necessarily new to my TBR, but it is a new book I've received and has just been added to my most recent TBR because I just got it finally. Um, the Falcon, which has a bird on the cover. And guess what? A crow is a bird. Loki, which stands for wicked fun. So I think it's going to be wicked fun to read this book. So I think that stands for that prompt. War Machine, which is a book with a battle. So that is, I believe there will be a battle in this book. And if not, I know Harry Potters have battles. So, But I believe there's going to be a battle of some sort in this book. Um, based on the ending of Six of Crows. Drax the Destroyer, which means a title with alliteration and Crooked Kingdom is alliteration. Yeah. And Okoy, which is a sassy or judgmental BFF sidekick kind of thing. And if you know Inej or Nina, you know that they're sassy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. My girls. <laughs> And then lastly, the only prompt I have not talked about is Rocket Raccoon, and that is only because I don't truly understand the prompt. It says it's a book that features a Dury sidekick, D-U-R-R-Y, and I've looked up all of the, like, definitions of it, and none of them make sense. I've even tried Drury, which is D-R-U-R-Y, um, just in case they misspelled something, and that stood for... Like, Dury stood for cigarette, so I, like, a cig cigarette sidekick, I wasn't sure what that meant. And then Drury was, like, a sidekick with a love interest, so I thought maybe it was that, but then I thought about Rocket Raccoon, and I was like, well, that doesn't make sense either. But if all else fails, there's a lot of characters in both Crooked Kingdom and Harry Potter, so I'm hoping it falls under one of those. So that'll be my fail safe if it is one of those prompts. That is my TBR for the in-game readathon. Let me know if you're gonna join as well. It does start in a couple days, so I will be recording and vlogging about my experience through that, as well as my experience with the Owl's Magical Readathon, as well as my experience just in general reading, so there's a lot going on here. Um, but I'm excited to join this readathon and get all in this and of course I had to wear my Marvel shirt with Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Thor all on it because Marvel and Thor is my favorite by the way so yeah let me know in the comments below what your favorite Avenger and or uh, Marvel superhero is. My favorite overall is Spider-Man. My favorite Avenger is Thor, and then my favorite female is Scarlet Witch, because honestly, that girl could take on Thanos by herself if she really wanted to, so just saying. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for watching, and I will check in with you guys in my next video. Bye!